We got almost everyone in here is an M Sport, which looks pretty cool. Uh, I really like this one. I really do. Either this one or the black. I think a black sapphire. And there we go. Good as new. Now it makes my other wheels look like I need to get those done just to match this one, but I'm fine. I think I'll just leave it the way it is. It doesn't look too bad. It's not like these were super old. Um, Anyway, I get this thing on and just so that I have it sitting on jack stands, I just had it just sitting on a um, winter tire. Here we are back in business. I think I'm gonna do get my M logo stuck back on there. I need to get some um, lubricant or some type of adhesive to put back on there. And I was thinking, let me know, but what are your thoughts on? the floating caps from BMW. And if you're unfamiliar, the floating caps So when you're driving along, instead of BMW, the BMW logo is facing up, it'll always face up no matter how you park the car. So as the wheel rotates, the center cap stays centered. everybody so here I am back at BMW um, right now I'm looking at the X5 this is your Tanzanite and uh, I really like this one I really do either this one or the black I think a black sapphire but why am I looking at these Let's see this one is the M50i is $86,000 has the dynamic heavenly package has everything that you want 12,000 miles i'd really want the air suspension and you know if you follow if you saw my posts i made a post on the x5 group on um facebook and you know a few people i mentioned my channel and some people do follow my channel but if you didn't see that post obviously if you don't follow the Facebook X5 group um, people said like you know they they see why I would want something more comfortable you know just for I, I honestly I, I don't know I'm going back and forth because I, I love my X5 nothing wrong with it but I mean these new ones are really starting to catch my attention and I definitely want the laser lights. I'm thinking it more from a content perspective too. I could do something different, but also, you know, I haven't finished with the content with the X5M either. There's a lot of things I can still do, but I feel like my X5M followers, you guys are wanting to see more content. I'm sure you wanted to see me do more modifications like lowering and catless down pipes and things like that. I'm sure more things like that. And I just, you know, this is also my family car and I can't, really mod it that extreme makes sense other people you know like i said if, if it's your only car i get why you want you can this car that x5 m can double as that sports car i know people disagree with me as far as thinking that it could be a track car yeah it is a big giant vehicle to be something that would take your track it would be my number one choice but if it was my only choice it's perfectly capable of doing it um Will it be the fastest car out there? No. Will we have fun? Yes. And will you... Oh. All right, guys. So like I was saying before, I don't know. And as I keep saying, I come back and forth. I ended up getting the key to this car. Look at it more closely. So here we are. Here we are. in here it smells good in here new cars always smell good this man this is just feels very nice feels very nice in here okay let's 
cup holders. Crystal shifter, what do you guys think about that? Drop a comment, let me know your opinion on these. This, they, they look good. Let's see. There we go. I'm just learning. So I guess this is a wireless charger up here. My phone fits up there. Good. Okay. The seats. Interesting to have the roadside lights here in the corners, the individual buttons. Just no soft clothes. It's back seat. See how it feels back here. Feels more. I think I would be hard to pass this one up. Honestly, what's keeping me away from this one right now? Well, obviously the money. It's been a more expensive car, but I want to say it's the not having the Bowers and Wilkins sound system. If this had Bowers and Wilkins, I'd probably be sitting in the office right now. But there's, I gotta look and see what packages, because I like soft clothes. I prefer soft clothes. You know, soft clothes is nice when you don't have to like slam the door or point them shut the door tight like that. You know, these are these are solid doors. But yeah, Bowers Wilkins, I think. Ideally, I like air suspension, but air suspension, I was told. Um, I believe, uh, I think they told me on the forums that you can't get that with the dynamic handling package. So you got to choose dynamic handling or air suspension. Most people I think that order these 50 and 50 eyes are going to probably pick more likely the dynamic handling because you know, as they're a typical buyer, someone like me who doesn't want to go full in want something comfortable for the family um, but they still want to have a little bit extra fun that's what I would think obviously if you want to go extreme go full in oh there's a stealth hitch in here huh is there a stealth hitch in here <coughs> there is right there it has a hitch I don't have this case in my car I don't know what this in here hmm. I need to get one of these First aid kit, and I don't see one. Spare tire. Got a place to put your cover. I, I just learned this out. I actually learned the other day that you have a place to put your cover right here. So power gate. I wonder what the being power. I wonder if they solved that issue with the whole rattling stuff. I do like this too. Blind spot monitor is like it's moved to the glass instead of having it on the side there. Let me crank this one up. seat is already on I wonder is that automatic thing or is that something that I just remembered the last setting but that's pretty cool that it came on automatically let's see I'm trying to learn more about this I prefer analog uh, gauges just myself I just like that old just 
this look, but let's see. I think there's a way you can change it. Um, I'm not sure what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm uh, not sure what I'm doing right now. I'll just leave it alone. I have to probably play with this one when we do this manual. So this is the home screen. This is how you guess how you adjust all your other settings. I might have got this car. I think I'm gonna buy it. Yes, charging. I like how the tail lights are just enough to be subtle. Huh, I usually gotta do two on the V8s. Usually you don't have to do that. See what it looks like in here. Hmm. So zero W thirty is a factory fill in these now. But I didn't lock it. I didn't lock this thing. Do these have auto lock now? Yeah, because so I guess got close to it and it unlocked itself. Look at that. Let's see if I walk away. I walk away from it. Locked. If I walk back, hands are here. The other hands holding the camera. Yep, and it unlocked itself. Oh, that's pretty cool. All right. Let's put this on hold. Oh. Let's see this thing over here, too. Look at this. Maybe. Ooh, that price. Ooh, that price. It's locked. I like that shifter better than the gloss black. I like that leather um, with the M tricolor stitching. It's a non competition. X5s out here. I think they said they just got a shipment in because a lot of X5s just showed up. We got like, almost every one of here is an M Sport, which looks pretty cool. I'm starting to like these uh, 50th anniversary badges. Because I didn't know that, also, you get on the wheels too. Oh, this is a. Uh, Flex might expect this one out pretty good. Shifter right there, the gloss. Uh, I mean, it's okay. Ooh, this looks nice. This one has the 50th anniversary badges as well. I 
and they put them on exactly how they should be. I don't know. I would love to test drive it, but it's on my price range right now, and I know if I like it, I'm in trouble. Plus, we drive it, you really won't be able to chance to really experience it either way because of the whole break-in. I don't know. I, I really like these wheels. It's like the, it's like the back wheels taller in the front. This is a 315 3022. Front is 295 3021. So yeah, but the back wheel is larger. It just looks good. A little staggered. This white looks good. I see the more I see of these XFMs, the more I like them too. Just move on into racing. Plus, somebody said, you know what, your car doesn't, your car isn't old, and I know my car, like the F15, even the E70s. I think BMW just age well. That's that's the thing is they, they age well. So even though you have an older model, it doesn't look old. It doesn't feel like, oh, this thing is just feels like is like I, I feel like I got an older car. Um, like when you have, I feel like when you have an older Honda, you, you kind of know you have an older Honda, but when you have an older BMW, it's like, I mean, it's almost like it doesn't age. People don't, people wouldn't know like, Oh, he's my car is 2016. People wouldn't know that I had a 2014 X5. They always think, Oh, it's, he's got a X5, a nice X5, next new one. Um, so yeah. Technically, I don't need to upgrade. The only reason I'm considering it is just because I want something more comfortable. Um, and I think I'm just more... You know, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. This color is... Manhattan Green. Are they not putting the upgraded sound system in these anymore? So I cannot find out one X5 with the Bowers and Wilkins. No Bowers and Wilkins. See how these are stacked with wheel options. There's another one. This is this one's in blue caps is an E. It's a 45 E. I'd like to review one of these, but this one's already taken. It's like somebody has this one. Yeah, it's got a sold sign in there. So I wanted to go back and I wanted to talk about the whole track thing with this. And I know I got interrupted. And I was just saying that this will be pretty competitive on a track. I'm not saying that you're going to be like number one in your session, your group. But I think you're going to be able to have fun. I think you're going to be able to, if you track one of these, you're going to be able to be competitive enough where you won't feel like you're outclassed. Um, they have they have enough power to maintain their speed on the straightaway. They have enough corny ability where you'll still be able to keep up with the most of the sports cars. If not, you know, be right there in the middle of the pack. Now, the heat, I think, if you run at Sport Plus, I think that the it should maintain its uh, cooling throughout the track. And I think the car, or just to say this, I think this, this has big enough brakes that if you get a good track pad on here, you should be able to um, 
hold his own on, on the brakes too as, like, as far as uh, being able to slow it down. All right, now that the torque vector differential does a pretty good job on maintaining um, or minimizing the understeer. Um, I did, like I said, I pushed it a little bit on in the Kenyans, like near towards Napa with that video, I made a video on that. And the video just doesn't show how much, how far I was pushing it. But there's a couple corners I say, you know what, I'm not gonna slow down. I have the room for runoff just in case, but I'm just gonna stick it in, in, in this corner and see what happens. And knowing I have the room kind of flexibility, I was, I was kind of expecting it to kind of push outward and it didn't. Anything else that, I felt that torque vectoring um, that M differential, I felt like it told that M differential, I felt to get more aggressive and it actually introduced oversteer. And I was like, that was pretty impressed of how it worked and the way it worked. Um, so this was my only car and I wanted to have fun on the track and then I wanted to have fun. Yeah, I still, I still agree that you can still boot up with it. This agree with me or not, that's perfectly fine. Um, but if you don't, if you don't agree, I think you should really uh, work your driving skill to be able to exploit the you know full abilities of the vehicle.